Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel, Aloha Creations. And this is my latest project. It's a TN style junk journal and it comes with three envelopes which I will show you in a little bit. Uh, the theme for this journal is famous painters and artists. And what uh, came about uh, making this was a book that I found and the title was Famous Paintings and Artists and this was the uh, actually the uh, the book sleeve and um, it was just too pretty to to get rid of or not do anything with so I thought I'd use the cover and um, and this is what I came up with um, it's uh, something that I don't normally, um, yeah, this is different from what I usually make. Um, this is definitely uh, inspired uh, a lot from Luna Rosu. Um, like for example, this little um, tape here, um, just to make it grungy and old looking. And that's uh, what I wanted to, to kind of I don't know, I guess incorporate is the grunginess and the old and, um, you know, look. So I wanted to show you guys first the envelopes. And these are made from the book pages from the um, art books that I have. So this one here is a painting of, I guess, you know, mummy, mummy ducks and their babies. And so I, I wanted to make an envelope out of this when I saw the image. And the artist is Robert Bateman. And this is from 1978. Um, I love the quote that he said here. And that's why I didn't really want to cover it up. So yeah, I kept it. And I just added that lace. And guys, you guys are going to be getting a lot of ephemeras from the book. I cut up some of the paintings and um, I also, uh, some of them I've backed with a tea dyed paper. And the reason for this one was, uh, this was part of the, this was part of the book, uh, the painting image. So that's why. Yeah, I like to do that, don't I? Usually it's like a set, that's why. Anyhow, these are the ephemeras that I hope you could use uh, to decorate your journals. So that's the first envelope. Let's just wear this ribbon. And this one is another of Robert Bateman and I just whoopsie sorry guys again uh, this was uh, part of that painting and I backed it with a tea dyed paper and I love the image of the swans and this is a postcard a vintage postcard And for this envelope, I didn't really decorate it. Um, sorry, I keep banging on that. I just didn't want to decorate it. I just, this paper is so gorgeous. Again, it's from the book. Again, a lot of the ephemera. And this again was part of the book sleeve. So I just that inside there and these are just again from the book that I cut up and fussy cut out the uh, the paintings and then the journal guys so I just stitched around that 
And I used some of this um, fabric that was given to me. And so the button, and I love this little uh, pencil charm. It's quite heavy, I think it's pewter. That's why it's so heavy. And so here it goes. So here's a pocket. And again, that's the title of the book. This is the book sleeve. And this is an authentic um, antique postcard. And just some pretty paper and a painting. And then this flips out. And there's a pocket. And this is an envelope that tucks in this mini little notebook or booklet. And just a card. Love that painting of Mona Lisa. And this is just a tuck. And these are pockets and I've just included, you know, ephemeras in there. And these are um, playing cards that I found and have these famous paintings there. And yeah, you guys can just open and keep it fold out whatever you guys want to do. And then these are little pockets. And here's a tag that I made. And again, more ephemera. And throughout the, um, the journal, I incorporated the painters. And I just you know, I, I wanted to include their names and I guess their little bit of information. This is a pocket. I, I don't know if I should put anything in there, like a tag or something. But I'll leave it for now. And this is a vintage page. Here's a little, a little letter. Tucks in there painting page. I thought I'd incorporate this um, feather charm and some stitching. This is a part of a vintage envelope that I received and oh I Oh, I, I wasn't sure if that was going to work out there, but it really did add some texture to it. And here's some more of the um, painters. Here's Vincent van Gogh. I included one of his famous paintings in there. And you could glue that on, make it into a pocket, back it with a piece of paper, whatever you guys want to do. And it's back to the tea dyed paper and this paper is quite thick. Fussy cut out another vintage postcard that I bought from a trip way back last year. Um, in Seattle and uh, an envelope a little collage that's a vintage stamp in the corner there a vintage um, fairy tale book from a fairy tale book so this book see it says 1969 the um, you know the book that I used
And this is another vintage uh, page from a French furniture, French Canadian furniture book. Vintage. And this is from the 1940s music page. This fold, oh, this doesn't fold out. I made it into a pocket, but if you really don't want that, you can just remove the, that and cut it. Glue the side, make it into a pocket. This is a wax seal in this corner because this painting is writing a letter, so I thought that was appropriate there. And then I made this journaling card from a piece of a painting uh, page and backed it with a piece of paper and a tea, tea dyed paper. You know, I, I did think about sewing around it, but I just, I didn't want to take away from the painting, so I left it as is. And here's the other part of that envelope that I was uh, telling you about, and it's from the 1940s, and this I received from a happy mail from Tonya Samuels, uh, Let's Design Creative. And I left it open for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess you could tuck some things in there. Here's a pretty painting. And again, if you saw the other one that looks similar to this, it's because that's actually one painting. I don't know if I could find it now, but anyhow, there's another um, similar to that to this. And um, that's a painting, one painting together, which I just um, cut. So. There you go. And I made that up into a pocket. A lot of ephemera for this. Make this into a pocket. And then this one, guys, was very interesting. I didn't know, because this is a painting, a famous painting of Monet and the water lilies. And I didn't want to cut it up and because I wanted to keep it together. But this was from the other page and that's why I had to connect it somehow and I did put his portrait there and you guys can definitely write on the back of this that's beautiful and this is the last page and then i just made a pocket out of my leftover um, file folders and here's just a little card from a market that i went to last summer and i thought the, the picture and the painting of this was really nice and colorful and bright so there you have it guys i uh, this is up for sale and if you guys are interested in purchasing this item, please uh, direct message me on my IG account, which I will link down below the description. And thank you again for watching. I do appreciate every one of you guys who have been consistently uh, supporting my channel and supporting my IG. I really thank you guys so very much. And I hope to see you guys again on my next video, which I don't know what that will be, but um, there's so many things I have planned. 
uh, for the next month or so. So uh, we'll see what happens. Have a great day, guys. Um, I'm looking out my window. It's nice and beautiful and sunny. So let's appreciate the, um, the good things that we have right now and still be grateful for everything that we have. Have a good one, guys. Um, take care. Bye for now.